So question number four. All right, so question number four, we're asked, what is, a pe what is the period of a wave? So let's looking at the junior tutor's answer, we can see that they've defined it based on this plot. So whenever we're thinking about a wave, we think about kind of some sinusoidal wave like this. We're talking about the period, we're thinking about how long does it take to complete one cycle of this repetition. So we can see they start off at this point right here, this is one cycle, and then it repeats again, and so on. And same the other way. So one period is just the the, the time right here, since we have the x-axis is, is labeled time, y-axis is labeled position. Um, so here the period is, uh, is like a time unit. So here we take one cycle, and based on the x-axis, calculate that. Um, so I'll draw a little diagram over here to give you some other examples to think about. So this is question number four. So we'll draw some, we have time over here, and then position. Let's say position x. Let me erase that. So position x. All right, so essentially, so this is one example. I'll give you another example. It doesn't matter what the wave looks like. Um, you can still figure out what the period is. So I'll use a different color here. So let's say we had a wave like this. No, these aren't 100% identical. So if we had something like this. So what I was trying to do there is this and this is the same as this. So there's three repeating units of the same waveform. Um, and here, all you'd have to do is look at the x coordinate over here. So actually, I'll use a different color. So you'd look at the x coordinate over here, the x coordinate over here, and just do some subtraction to get the period. And the period would be just this distance right here. So from here to this. And that will be your period. Usually period is defined as T, capital T. And then the other thing that's important to know is, so here they have the definition, the period of a wave is the amount of time taken by one cycle to complete in a wave. The wave period T of a wave is the inverse of frequency. So a very important formula to know is that period is the inverse of frequency. So units for period is in seconds usually, or some unit of time, usually it's seconds. And then frequency, units of frequency is in hertz. So if we were to calculate, let's say, frequency, frequency would equal one over the period, and that would be in hertz. Or per one per second, right? So hertz is just one over seconds. So that's kind of a general overview of what is a period of, in a wave, how to get it from a graph, and kind of the units you use to calculate it, and how it relates to frequency. So, great explanation. Answer correct. So we'll mark this answer as correct and move on to the next question.